Hello, welcome to week 13, and we are back to Med Surge. Yay! So, this is the book that we're doing Understanding Medical Surgical Nursing. Um, it's on your screen, it should be on your screen there. So, um, we begin in chapter 32. There are lots to cover, so I'm going to just give you highlights and some instruction. You are responsible for everything in the chapters that we are covering. So this is chapters 32, 33, 34, and 35, and 30, no, not 36, sorry, it's four chapters. It's 107 pages. Um, this is the first video. Okay, so um, the structures of the gastrointestinal tract. So again, beginning or starting with um, the structure, this is all review. You um, have a diagram, which is going to be on a later slide, talking about the, um, or showing the digestive system. This starts from the salivary glands at the very top, um, from the mouth to the pharynx, esophagus, the liver, the stomach, the pancreas, the gallbladder, large, small intestines, rectum, and then the anus is the exit. So that takes us all the way through the digestive system. So everything that's covered in that. Um, so you need to know the functions of each of those organs. Um, you need to know um, accessory glands, the liver, gallbladder, and the pancreas. Okay. How age affects the gastrointestinal tract and accessory glands is also very important and something that we will get to um, in page... Uh, 616 okay um, list the data to collect when caring for a patient with a disorder of the GI system okay so um, that would be um, um, taking into um, account their diet medications um, any diseases or um, that they might have ongoing. Explaining techniques used to conduct a physical examination. What do we use? Auscultation, percussion. You guys are familiar with those. Um, okay, plan of care, nursing, care for patients. Um, plan of nursing care for patients having diagnostic tests. Um, these uh, explain the different types of NG tubes and their uses. Okay, um, you're going to see here that there is a concept map on page 616. It's quite large. Um, it talks and shows illustrations of the effects of aging on the GI, hepatic, and pancreatic systems. That is extremely um, extensive because, as you know, that's where a lot of breakdown and problems can happen within the GI system. So um, collecting a health history starts on page 616. Um, they give you an example of questions that you would ask during the health history. These are very pertinent and uh, basic questions. So I would say you absolutely should review the table 32.2. Um, this is all review. It's all stuff that you should know, but you need to review it. Um, okay, um, for we talked about auscultation, percussion. Um, where you do that? Um, the map that is set up for you is on page 621, which you are also familiar with. You've been taught the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower, right lower. Um, you can see next to that um, figure 32.5B, figure B. It shows you further breakdown of like the parts of the area, you know, the of that trunk area. So hypochondriac, cardiac, epigastric, hypochordiac, lumbar, iliac, hypogastric, il iliac, lumbar, and umbilic umbilical, sorry, um, not enough coffee yet this morning. Um, so please make sure that you're well aware of that. That is the diagram that I um, did share with you. So um, I'm not going to download this separately. I'm just doing it like this because you can start and stop it on each slide. Okay. Um, anterior view and partial section of the stomach. 
This is a great way for you to be able to see um, where. So if you see on this diagram is illustrated in your book um, as well. Um, this is a great, um, on page 613, figure 32.2, it's the parts of the stomach. So um, this gives you a further um, illustration of just how digestion happens. Okay, um, this is anatomy and physiology. Uh, okay, uh, we covered that. Liver, gallbladder, pancreas. Um, so you can see here uh, further AMP that um, diagrams that are important for you to know the um, significance of area that's covered. Like if someone were to get um, pancreatic cancer, you are aware that that is one of the fatal cancers. Um, and look at how big the pancreas is so and what it does. So make sure that you um, just have an idea of what these areas look like. Gallbladder is really small. It can cause a lot of damage as well. A lot of people have cholecystectomy and how does that affect your fat intake after that? Um, Accessory organs, okay, so produce and store digestive secretions. The liver is responsible for it's the hepatic portal circulation and bio. Um, its functions, carbohydrate metabolism, it's like the filter, right? So lipid metabolism, synthesis of plasma, all of these things here, um, most important or very important, we know it for storage detoxification. Um, and so an activation of vitamin D, of course, but detoxification is a big thing. So you, some of you are familiar with um, dialysis and how that process and how they have to filter out for it because when the liver is not properly functioning, um, this is what is involved. Gallbladder stores bile, so when they remove it, you don't, you're not have the ability to process those fats, right? Okay, pancreas. Um, we're talking about the amylase, lipase, tripsin, and bicarbonate juice. Uh, I would say here's that diagram um, of aging effects. So this is a concept map, and you can look at that in detail as much as you like. It is a really good illustration, and I would recommend that you um, – just review it. These are things, again, that you already are familiar with and know. You just have to cement all of this. Okay. Um, tooth enamel. Of course, that starts because we go through the mouth, right? Tongue atrophy. Um, we have gag reflex, gastric hydrochloric acid production to help break down or anything taken in by the body. Aging and GI system, fat absorption is slower. Atrophy of large and small intestines, they do not start, they do not work as well as they used to. Maybe you can't eat as large meals or they don't sit as well with people that are aging. Um, decreased elasticity of the rectal wall. So constipation is generally more of an issue. Um, they have weakness in their intestinal wall, so this can cause um, incontinence and all different other types of things, right? Um, gallstones, yes, these are something that are um, familiar to aging gallbladders, okay? These are um, something you should look at because they are very common. Um, collecting health history, travel, elimination, C. diff, um, okay, so yeah, if they, um, nutritional assessments, culture and family history, of course. Physical assessment, height, weight, body mass, um, inspection for jaundice. Where do we assess for jaundice? We can usually see the sclera of the eyes has a yellowish tint to it. Um, it can also be seen in um, mucous membrane sometimes and other areas of the body. Um, auscultation, percussion, palpation, abdominal girth. Okay. Um, I'm going to just keep on going. This is the diagram that I told you about, abdominal quadrants, and then the nine, nine abdominal regions. Okay, lab tests. Yes, you do need to be familiar with these also, Vanessa. Lab tests, complete blood counts, electrolytes. These are all things that are on liver panels um, that we see for any kind of GI testing. So you do need to be familiar with what these types of tests are. 
as well as the tests that are performed like a gastroscopy, um, an endoscopic re uh, retrograde. Um, you can see on page 629, 32.8, it's all in your book. So you have you need to really dive into this. Um, they're gastric tube examples. Um, you are also, um, these are more tests, the barium swallow, barium enema, so that's the upper and lower GI, a CT scan. These are things that are looking for cancer, polyps, abnormal, abnormal growths, um, those types of things. Um, nuclear, what kind of nuclear studies? Um, you do not have to, these are things that you should be familiar with. Obviously, they're um, angiographies, liver scans. This DISIDA, I would say, you know, they're not as common, um, but if you're getting into real specifics, then you should um, just have an idea of looking at knowing that that's not an, another language, but that is a nuclear study test, okay? Um, please make sure that you uh, look at page 633, table 32.9. Um, there is common mechanical GI and metabolic complications of tube fed patients. So these are things that you need to look through and review. Um, as well as on tab table 32.9, the first part of it, um, this talks about, um, complications as well. It's the same thing. It's continued, um, but it gives you like, Mechanical, tube irrigation, tube obstructions, aspiration and regurgitation, GI, cramping, distension, bloating. These are all things that you need to be, you already seen a lot of these things on the med surge floor. You've already heard about them. You just need to review them. EGD, endoscopy, I already talked about this. Colonoscopy, these are all tests. This is a good illustration of a gastro gastroscopy. Um, what do you call it, animation. And so um, here as well, they're talking about where it's looking at into um, ultrasound. Okay, therapeutic measures. Tube feedings. We use gravity. I have taught you to use gravity. You can also gently use um, air to put into Auscultate that your um, G-tube is in proper location before administering a medication or tube feeding. You will hear a swoosh. You put in five milliliters of air um, with your stethoscope. You auscultate um, also with gravity. So you will hold it down below the tube and it will gurgle and the stomach is going to make so you know that you're in the stomach area. There will be any gastric juices will come up. Um, and if you hold it up, it goes back down, right? Okay, so that's the gravity way. Um, your head of the bed must be 30 to 45 degrees in, uh, elevated so that um, we decrease the risk for aspiration. Um, make sure that they are uh, tolerating the eating correctly so that they're not vomiting, spitting up. It's not oozing out of the uh, stoma, um, any feeding or anything like that. That's a feeding pump illustration there. A G-tube, um, you guys have seen those, most all of you. If not, make sure you definitely review this page um, or the slide. Okay, um, this is how we get, you can look over. So these are review questions. Um, the nurse teaches a patient with cirrhosis functions of the liver. Which of these would the nurse include as functions of the liver? Okay, those are your options. Two, three, four, and five are your answers. Um, okay, which of the converting functions does the pancreatic enzyme trypsin have? One, two, three, four. Answer is four. I'm going quickly through these because we have four chapters. Okay, so you're able to read that slide. Here's your answers. Again, you can manipulate these slides. Fast forward, stop, pause, do what you need to do. So look at those. Um, I'm just giving you those. Some of these um, chapters have like 90 pages, 90 slides in them. So that's why I'm kind of talking through these, but you can check yourself, do little quizzes. Um, that's the end of the first one. Okay.